Hey guys, what's going on? Gotcha Boy CSP here coming at you with another NBA 2K16 rebuilding video. The Bucks did win the poll in the last video, so that is the team that I'm here to rebuild. Now, first and foremost, I just wanted to wish you all a very happy new year. I hope you guys accomplish everything that you want to this year. This year is going to be great, man. I hope you guys fulfill your resolutions. And if you're the type of person that wants to become a better person this year, I hope you become the best person you can be, man. Make sure to stick around with me this year, though. This year is about to be lit AF. That is me trying to be hip because we all know I'm not. All right, so looking at this Bucks team, basically the only two players that I am keeping are Giannis and Jabari Parker. Everybody else is up for trade. The first trade of today's video will be sending Chris Middleton and Michael Carter-Williams to the Chicago Bulls for Derrick Rose and Nikola Mirotic. I do get a lot of requests to get Derrick Rose. I haven't really been a big fan of him, but just decided, hey, why not go ahead and get him and let's see what happens Welcome to Milwaukee, Derrick Rose and Nikola Mirotic. Also, I don't really have a, a backup power forward, so this also does help me out there because my uh, only backup power forward besides Mirotic is Johnny O'Brien. And I'm not really comfortable having Johnny O'Brien being the backup power forward, so I definitely was very comfortable going out and getting a great power, well, not really great power forward, but a solid power forward in uh, Nikola Mirotic. The second and final trade that I will be making before Season 1 starts is sending Jared Bayless and John Henson to the Memphis Grizzlies for Courtney Lee and Mario Chalmers. I do need another shooting guard on the team, and why not go ahead and get Mario Chalmers? I'm more of a fan of his game than Jared Bayless, and that says a lot considering, you know, Mario Chalmers' history. So here we go. Here's the new starting five at the, at the start of Season 1. Derrick Rose, Courtney Lee, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Greg Moreau, and Miles Plumley. Yes, that is Miles Plumley. Uh, actually, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and release somebody and just sign uh, Larry Sanders, bring him back to the Bucks. Why not go ahead and do that? I need a solid center to start off the year. I don't really feel that confident in having um, Miles Plumley being my starting center. So now Larry Sanders is now the new starting center. Let's go ahead and simulate to the trade deadline like I do in every single rebuilding video. And if anything interesting happens, whether it's a signing, a trade, uh, or a firing, that's kind of stupid to say. Because, I mean, I, I mean, like, let's be real. Why would I show a firing? If anything interesting happens, you guys will definitely be seeing it. At the end of season number one, Kevin Durant walks away with the MVP award. 29 and a half points, 9 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks. And shot basically 52% from the field. Carl Anthony Towns wins Rookie of the Year. Josh Smith wins Sixth Man of the Year. DeAndre Jordan, his teammate, wins Defensive Player of the Year. Eric Bledsoe wins Most Approved Player. And Billy Donovan, in his in his first year coaching the Thunder, goes 69-13 and wins the Coach of the Year. Here's the All NBA First Team. You know what? I'm not expecting anyone from our team to make a single you know, award team. Like, I mean, like, that's just how it is. I'm not expecting anybody to make any of these teams, and that is exactly how it goes. Nobody makes any of these teams. So let's get right on into the playoffs. We finished 27 and 55. That's good enough for, uh, actually tied for last in the uh, Eastern Conference. You guys are probably pissed at me. You're like, well, the Bucks are good in real life, and you just blew them up to nothing. I mean, yeah, you know what? I probably did, but hey, I know what I'm doing. Trust the process. Just, uh, you know, I'm like a, I'm like a Sam Hinkie, you know? Trust the process. So let's see who will go ahead and advance to the NBA Finals and who will win it. Probably Cavs Thunder. And the Thunder do win in five games as uh, Kevin Durant probably. Yep, he does win Finals MVP. 30 points, 9 rebounds, basically 8.5 assists, 2.5 steals, 2.5 blocks, 3 turnovers. Uh, good numbers from him. Retired players, KG, Kobe actually retires after the first year like he should. Tim Duncan, Ray Allen, Vince Carter, Paul Pierce. I mean, the uh, the uh, usual names, really, on this list. And then George Carl, Ray Carlisle retire. Kobe, Tim Duncan, KG, Ray Allen, and Paul Pierce all make the Hall of Fame. So you guys know that I love to skip the draft lottery because I absolutely hate it this year. We actually ended up getting the second pick in the NBA draft. That opens up a ton of possibilities for us. I honestly have no idea what I want to do with this pick. I really have no idea because 
Like, I don't necessarily need Chris Dunn. I don't necessarily need Jacob Poltzel because I can go out in free agency and get Dwight or uh, Hassan or Andre Drummond. I don't necessarily need a power forward because I have a move in mind to make that would absolutely change the landscape of this team. Uh, so let's go ahead and start off with some of these trades. Uh, I'll probably just, uh, you know, cut it to where I make my first trade because I'm probably going to do a lot of uh, experimenting to see if I can get a good trade going. Hopefully, I can get something great and we can make this team looking even better than last season. Right here, I will be sending Greg Monroe and Rashad Vaughn to the Sacramento Kings for Rudy Gay and Darren Collison. Now, before you go and type in the comment section, dude, you're an idiot. You have Giannis. You have Jabari. Why in the world are you, are you getting Rudy Gay? Trade piece. Trade pieces right here, guys. That's all rebuilding is. Well, not really all it is, but it's a very key part. You get guys so you can trade those guys for other players. and I mean, it's just a, a nice cycle. So there we go. New addition to the squad, but I definitely am not satisfied having them on the team. I am very, very, very interested in bringing Kevin Love to Milwaukee. Now, there's probably a very, very slim chance that the Cavs actually take this deal straight up. Just Rudy Gay, Derrick Rose for Kevin Love and Sasha Vaughn. I probably will have to include my second pick in the draft. I am fine with that if it means getting somebody like Kevin Love, and they are not looking to do that. Uh, let me just see real quick if I trade my 27. Okay, what if I gave them 27? Wow. Wow. I actually got to keep the second pick in the draft and still managed to get Kevin Love. Well, welcome to Milwaukee. You are now our new starting power forward. Let's go, man. Let's go. Right here, I will be sending Nikola Miritich and my 2019 first-round pick for A.V. Bradley and a Timberwolves second-round draft pick in 2017. Basically, in free agency, I'm going for Bradley Beal, all right? I'm going for him. And if he's not there, I need a shooting guard that is great, but not, like, awful. Not, like, super great, but not awful, if that makes any sense. You know, someone not like a Kobe, because Kobe's, like, a 74, 75 overall. So let's go ahead and accept this trade. The Celtics are on the clock with the first pick, and with the first pick, they select Ben Simmons, a player that I definitely do not need considering. I do have Jabari, and I do have Giannis Antetokounmpo, so, you know, don't really care too much about that pick. Here we are with the second pick in the draft. I just now realized the Sixers have two picks in the top ten. And they have three picks in the first round. All right. Jacob Poltzel, welcome to the Milwaukee Bucks. I know, I know. A really, really high pick for him, but he is what I need right now. I probably could have traded down, but hey, man, who cares? Let's go ahead and simulate to the end of the draft and go straight to free agency. Hopefully, some key name players are there to help us win a championship in year number two. Here I am at the start of free agency, $52 million to spend, and I'm looking to spend every single penny of it if it, if it means fielding a championship caliber team. Let's see who all is here in the free agency pool, and I see LeBron James, no Bradley Beal, man. Dang it, I was really hoping he was going to be there. Now, I could get LeBron, trade him for someone like Kevin Durant, and then run KD at the two, or Jabari at the two, or Giannis at the two, or somebody at the two. I could actually do that. I'm going to go out and sign Dwight Howard, all right? I need a center. I'm kind of going to uh, overpay for him. $25.5 million deal over uh, three years. I, d I don't need Dirk. Rondo, honestly, would not be a bad investment. Well, not really investment, but a bad signing right here. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and offer him a contract. It doesn't hurt to uh, offer him a contract, $14 million over three years. And I think that is really it. I do need a shooting guard, though. So I will offer a contract to Eric Gordon and just see if he uh, accepts it. If not, I mean, there's also guys like Joe Green here. Probably J.R. Smith is somewhere in there. So let's see who all accepts on day one of free agency. And oh my goodness, man. Dwight Howard, Rondo, and Eric Gordon all want to sign. And we can actually get all three of these guys. We can get all three. Um, let me just check the roster real quick, real quick, uh, excuse me, right now we have Jacob Polta and Sasha Khan as my only centers on the team, so I'm definitely fine with bringing, bringing in Dwight, so that is exactly what we are going to do, welcome to the team, Dwight Howard, Rajon Rondo, and Eric Gordon, I do need a backup power forward considering that I am not confident in Johnny O'Brien's game, let's go out and get Luis Scola, 
Uh, pretty sure he just wants the solid uh, mid-level exception. Uh, or we can just sign him with a regular cast space. Let's go ahead and do that. And honestly, man, I think our roster is set. I mean, looking at the uh, roster right now, point guard, we got Rondo and Carlison. Shooting guard, Eric Gordon and, and uh, Avery Bradley. Small forward, we definitely are set with Jabari and Giannis. Power forward, we got Scola, uh, Johnny O'Brien, and Kevin Love. And then center, Dwight, Jacob Poltel, and Sasha Khan. So I'm definitely feeling confident about this team as Dirk signs with the Bulls. Okay. So you guys got pissed at me last video for trading Tragic Bronson, so I'm here to make it up to you guys. Let's go ahead and bring him to the Bucks, trading Miles Plumley and Sasha Khan for him and a 2019 second round pick. Welcome to the team, Tragic Bronson. You're probably not getting a ton of uh, playing time considering the fact that we have Dwight and uh, Jacob Poltzl in front of you, and he is the 12th man in the rotation. So here is the starting five at the start of season one. Rajon Rondo, I mean, the uh, start of season two. Wow, super duper awkward. Rajon Rondo, Avery Bradley, Jabari Parker, Kevin Love, and Dwight Howard. Really, this year it's probably going to be Giannis and uh, Jabari basically switching out from being starting small forward to six man. But, I mean, they are getting identical minutes, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, Giannis is the sixth man currently. Darren Collison, seventh man. Air, uh, Eric Gordon, eighth man off the bench. And Scola is the ninth man off the bench. Um, you know, over time in this season, Jacob Holtzel will obviously get a lot more playing time. And let me, let, let me just check out his stats real quick uh, if you guys are curious. Uh, I'm more concerned about his rebounding. 74 offensive rebounding and 80 defensive rebounding. That's actually not that bad for a center. 82 block, 82 shocking test, 90 hustle. That is great to see. So let's go ahead and simulate to the trade deadline just like in season one. And if anything happens, you will definitely be seeing it. Hopefully, we can be a top five seed in the East and we can maybe, maybe win the NBA championship. At the end of season number two, Stephen Curry walks away with the MVP award. 29 points, four and a half rebounds, eight assists, two steals, and barely a block per game, which is pretty surprising considering he's better than Dikembe Mutombo at blocking shots. Ben Simmons wins Rookie of the Year uh, as a member of the Boston Celtics. Would not be surprised if the Celtics actually get the first pick this year considering the Nets are so trashy. Josh Smith once again wins sixth man of the year for the second year in a row. And also for the second year in a row, his teammate DeAndre Jordan wins defensive player of the year. Frank Kaminsky wins most approved player. And Steve Kerr wins, wins our coach of the year. 60 and 22 Warriors. Good enough for first in the Western Conference. All NBA first team is right here. I'm kind of expecting maybe one person to be on it. And it's, it's maybe Dwight, but I doubt it. Uh, Thaddeus Young made the all NBA second team. All right, man. Solid. GG2K. Um, wow, Ben Simmons made the All-NBA third team. All right, man. Uh, All-defensive first team, and it's looking like no one from our team. Actually, Dwight Howard made the All-defensive second team as apparently he wanted to win the uh, MVP award. There's nobody more valuable than I am. Dwight, you're way overrated, dude. Uh, 15 and a half points, 11 rebounds, and uh, almost two and a half blocks per game. Great to see from him. All-rookie first team right here, and then all-rookie second team. There you go. Um, Jacob Poltel is obviously not on it because he didn't start and probably did not get a lot of minutes. As you see, we finished 58 and 24. What a great record for us this year. We finished 13 games above the two seed and we have the second best record in the NBA. So I am definitely ready to get these playoffs started. Hopefully we don't get screwed over by 2K and lose in the first round like I usually do sometimes with the one seed. 2-1 uh, series lead, all right. 3-1 series lead, and we, yes, there we go. We are advancing to the second round to go up against the Boston Celtics with uh, Ben Simmons, but he is hurt. Uh, pulled right hamstring. George Hill is on the Pacers. All right, uh, he got traded last year. Um, I mean, really, this team is the exact same. They do have Miritich because I got uh, A.B. Bradley from them. Uh, they have Diamond Stone, Mellow Trimble, I mean, I definitely think we can uh, walk away with the win in this series. We win game one, we win game two, we win game three, and now let's hit them with a nice sweep. Bring out the brooms! There we go. Sweep. We win by almost 30 points in game four. And yes, guys, that is almost 30 points. That is 26 points. And it's not 36 points or 46 points, all right? I'm not making that mistake again. Kevin Love with 24 and 18. What a great game from him. Giannis uh, with uh, 16, 11, and 5. And Dwight with 17 and 4. Wow, Giannis also had four steals. All right. Uh, now we are on to the conference finals to go up against 
the Philadelphia 76ers. Let's see who they have on their team. They have the three center, three headed monster, uh, and basically the same exact team. They have Chris Dunn. They drafted him. Uh, pretty sure Chris, uh, Christian Wood uh, was on their team last year. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, man. Uh, they drafted this Henry Ellenson guy. Yeah, we can definitely beat the seventh seeded. Uh, Philadelphia 76ers and also in the West it is one versus seven Warriors versus Trailblazers as the Timberwolves beat the Thunder in the first round all right and somehow the Rockets were the two seed without Dwight okay all right so we're going up against the Philadelphia 76ers let's just uh, let's uh, hurry up and give them this sweep and no all right they beat us by 30 points in game four but it doesn't matter no um, 2k 2K. Okay, thank you. All right, so we win in six games. Win by 11 in game six. Eric Gordon was our leading scorer with 19 points. And we are going up against the Golden State Warriors. The Bucks ended the Warriors' streak, but obviously not in the game because, you know, they weren't even on, on a long winning streak. And we sucked in the first season. Let's see if we can come out with this victory. Let me just make sure the rotation is good. All right, so Rondo is on the bench. All right, Derek Collison starting. Let's see if we can get the victory in this, well, in the uh, NBA Finals against the Golden State Warriors. We win game one by six points. They tie it up. Oh, my. They scored 142 points. Oh, my. Wow. All right. Steph and Clay both with 30 points. All right. Oh, man. Like, you can't, you can't beat that if that happens. They take the 2-1 series advantage. And they are up three games to one. All right. We definitely have got to play well. I do not want to go home. I would love to win it. Oh, Kevin Love is hurt. That's why he has, he has back spasms. And Avery Bradley's hurt. And he's done for the year, apparently, with a bruised left shoulder, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Because, like, if your shoulder's bruised, he probably would play through it. Let's see if we can come out with the win in game number six. No, this is game five. Uh, looking good. Looking good. Oh, my God. Three-point game. Okay, good. Thank you so much. All right, so we went by five in game number five. Now we're going on to game six on our home floor. Let's see if we can win once again and force a game seven. Hopefully we can. Please tell me we can. I feel confident in this team, and it's not looking good. GG, man. GG, Warriors. They completely blew us out of the water. So it's looking like we will win it in our third season. Pretty disappointing that we could not win it, but we did have people hurt. We did have Kevin Love that was hurt and A.B. Bradley which definitely took a uh, decrease in our teams overall I guess uh, just to show you the stats real quick Dwight with 21 and 8 Jabari with 19 Steph Curry with 46 points like come on I can't stop that so congrats to the Warriors they win in six games but I'm definitely winning the, the uh, championship next year as Steph Curry wins the finals MVP this is the second straight year that the that the uh, league's MVP ends up winning the finals MVP we're here at the start of free agency in our second offseason. We are going to bring back Tragic Bronson. Now, this is a big year for us because we what? Wow, that was weird. Uh, because we need to bring back Giannis and we need to bring back Darren Collison. Um, I mean, I, I could go after CJ McCollum. I don't have enough money to get him. And I actually don't even have bird rights on uh, Darren Collison. So this is going to be a stretch to see if I can get him. And it's looking like we are not going to bring him back, considering that we do not have bird rights on him. Welcome back to the team, though, Giannis. Welcome back. And, he, yeah, he is, he is no longer here. Where did he go? Where did he go? Well, first of all, New Orleans Noel went to the Bulls, all right? Uh, CJ McCollum to the Pacers. Greg Moreau to the Kings. Where is Darren Collison? All right, Darren Collison is nowhere to be found here. Uh, I have no idea where he's at. Maybe, maybe he's here. Uh, he goes to the Rockets. All right, so... Uh, you know, my fault for not bringing him back. I tried. I uh, offered him a contract. He just wasn't feeling the offer. I can't get Derrick Rose. I can't get Trey Burke. I can't get Patty Mills. Maybe George Hill. Nope, can't even get George Hill, man. Um, I'm just going to have to go after someone like Devin Harris, maybe. Uh, maybe CJ Watson. Okay. Bryce Cotton can't get him. Maybe if I bring this down a little bit. So I only had enough room to get CJ Watson for the mid-level exception, so I will go ahead and do that. I'm still kind of pissed, though, that uh, I cannot bring back 
uh, Darren Collison, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. We are going to go on without him, and maybe, maybe I can make a trade for a, a better point guard. Here's the player progression, if you guys were curious. Uh, Jacob Poulter went up six. That's great. Rondo went down four. Not good whatsoever. Um, I definitely might want to trade him. I'm definitely going to explore it, but no guarantees on anything, really. So I was shopping Rajon Rondo and Avery Bradley, and this trade pops up from the Phoenix Suns to get Eric Bledsoe. I am going to accept the trade, but I'm going to try and get a better shooting guard out of it because I don't really want Ken Bazemore. Uh, they're not trading Brandon Knight. That's not happening. Maybe Devin Booker. Maybe uh, they're not getting enough back for what they are giving up. Well, I, I will give you two years worth the first round draft picks they want johnny o'brien for Corey jefferson let's go man i will definitely take this you guys are probably wondering why i'm so hyped up over devin booker um let's just go over to his uh uh attributes 99 standing shot three man that's all i gotta say that is all i got to say welcome to milwaukee eric bledsoe and devin booker the suns are stupid man i just got a steal I just got a complete steal. New starting five, Eric Bledsoe, Devin Booker, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kevin Love, Dwight Howard, with Jabari being our sixth man, Jacob Poto, seven man off the bench, Eric Gordon, eight, and Damon Inglis is the ninth man off the bench, with Tragic Bonson not getting any playing time. So simming to the trade deadline, hopefully we can make some great things happen, and I have no idea where the uh, trading deadline is. So I'm just gonna sim right here, see what happens. Actually, screw it, man. I'm just going to simulate to the end of the year because, I mean, honestly, this team is going to be so good. I'm not going to need to make any trades to shake anything up. We are we are going to be good, and we are going to win the NBA championship, man. I guarantee it. At the end of our third season, LeBron wins the MVP as a member of the Los Angeles Lakers, a team that he goes to really every time, it seems like. Uh, you guys don't know who this is, so it doesn't really matter. Jamal Murray wins sixth man of the year as a member of the Nuggets. DeAndre Jordan, for the third season in a row, wins Defensive Player of the Year. Jamal Murray, uh, again, wins uh, Most Approved Player. And Logan Schmidt, the coach of the Sixers, went 63-19, and good enough for first in the East. Uh, all NBA first team, I'm not expecting anybody to make it. Uh, Russell Westbrook is hurt, severe right ankle sprain, all right. Uh, all, NBA, all NBA third team right there. All defensive first team, known from our team there. And then all defensive second team, there is Eric Bledsoe. Let's take a look at his stats on the year. Uh, almost 17 points, four and a half rebounds, eight assists, two steals, and one block. All right, that is good to see. Let's go ahead and get right on into the playoffs. We are the two seed. Uh, let me just show you how we finished. Uh, we were 13 games back of the Sixers, four games in front of the Hornets for second. So hopefully we can do some great things in the playoffs. We ended the year on a three-game losing streak, though, so it's not that great. The Sixers have won nine in a row, so that's like scary considering how hot they're gonna be hopefully we can win uh the knicks were actually like second seed uh at the uh, beginning of the year now they are seventh all right they tie it up all right uh we win by three they tie it up they win by eight we take the three two series lead and nope all right game seven i really hate game sevens like i honestly honestly hate game sevens why are we starting eric gordon that makes no sense as to why we're gonna start eric gordon like Eric Gordon shooting stats, 76 mid-range, 82-3, all right? And then we look at Devin Booker shooting stats, 82 mid-range, 99-3, all right? That's all I'm saying. So let's go ahead and get right on into the SimCast. Hopefully, we can come out with the victory. Uh, just rebuild the rotations even though you... Okay, cool. Uh, Devin Booker is starting. All right, let's 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 just be great. Please tell me we can, we can just be great. All right, all right, we're good. Actually, yep, we're good. We are good. We are going on to the second round as Kevin Love scores 22 points in a victory. Dwight with a double-double. All right, going on to the second round facing the Toronto Raptors. Let's go ahead and take a look at their roster. Kyle Lowry, DeRozan, Valanciunas. Uh, they drafted Scal, LaVissier. They have Corey Joseph, Yan Mahimi. Uh, Nigel Hayes they drafted. They have Bellinelli, Luol Deng, Solomon Hill. All right. Uh, I definitely think that we can uh, beat this team. Fessis Azili is probably hurt for the whole entire series. And so is DeLon Wright. Let's go ahead and win this series. We win game one by 30 points. Win game two by uh, 14 points. Yes, that is 14 points. Uh, lose game three by two points. I uh, almost said win. Uh, we win game four by 10. And we are on to the conference finals to face off once again against the philadelphia 76ers when the winner of this series faces off against the winner of the western conference finals which is the jazz and the pelicans let's go ahead and win this series we win game one that is a huge 
uh, game for us to win. Can we win game two? No, we cannot lose by 18. But we do win game three at home. And we do win game four at home. Let's go ahead and hit them with the 4-1 series victory. And we can. All right. All right. You guys aren't going to go down easy. I understand that. I understand that. That's why I'm going to beat you in six games. Win by 19 points, I believe, at home. Man, Eric Bledsoe, 20 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, 3 steals. Dwight Howard with 13 and 10. Great game from us. I mean, really, for them, it was just Jaleel Okafor, Chris Dunn, and basically nobody else. So we're going up against the 8th-seeded New Orleans Pelicans. Let's take a look at their roster. Should be the exact same. Uh, they have Malik Pope. They have Dwight Powell, Tyler Zeller. We should beat this team. We definitely should beat this team. Game one goes to us. We win by four. Game two goes to them. They win by eight. Game three goes to them. Okay. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? This team is the eighth seed. Is somebody hurt on this team that, like, I just don't know about? Is someone hurt? No one's hurt. I don't understand why we're down 3-1. I really do not understand why we're down 3-1, man. It makes no sense. All right. So game five went to us in convincing fashion, winning by almost 40 points. Great game from us at home to uh, stave off elimination, if that's the correct terminology. I don't know, man. Uh, basically, for them, it was just uh, Anthony Davis for us. Uh, we had a lot of guys in uh, double figures. We had six guys in double figures. Giannis was 16 boards. That's really all you need to look at from this game. All right, so we win by almost 40 points. Let's go to New Orleans, and let's get the job done and force the game seven. I think we definitely can do so. Let's see if it can happen. Not looking good so far. Not looking good. Okay, we take the nice lead. It's close, but we, oh, man, we took control in that fourth quarter, man. We took control, and we win by 19 points. All right, Eric Bledsoe, a, a game-high 31 points, I do believe, once again. Uh, actually, we had seven players this time in double figures. Jabari with a double-double. Dwight with a double-double. Uh, Anthony Davis, 27-10. Drew Holiday, 22-6-6. Six six. All right. Game seven. Do or die. We are on our home floor. Let's get the job done. All right. I will not accept anything other than a championship victory, considering that I kind of, like, guarantee. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We are, we are about to win. The NBA championship, man. We come back from being 3-1 down. We're up by 43 points against the 8th seed Pelicans. This is what should have happened. We should have swept them. Not been down three games to one. Giannis with 24. Dwight with 24. Bledsoe and Gordon both with 22. Kevin Love 12 and 16. Jabari with 10. Devin Booker with 7. And then on their team, it was basically Anthony Davis, Tyreek Evans, and Deion Waiters. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on into this game so we can view the championship celebration as we do win the NBA championship in three years. And they've done it, the new NBA champions. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that comes with winning it all. And Clark, you have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer. So there you have it, man. We win the NBA championship in our third season, like I guaranteed at the start of the year. It started off pretty rocky, winning in seven games against the Knicks. Then we won by five against the Raptors, won by six. Well, won the series in six against the first seed at 76ers. And then we win the NBA Finals in seven games. Coming back from a 3-1 series deficit was not easy, man, but we definitely did it. And as you saw, Eric Bledsoe wins the finals MVP in seven games. He averaged 20 points, three rebounds, seven assists, two and a half steals, one block, three turnovers, shot 54% from three. Super impressive from him. Here are all of the retired players, Pau Gasol, Ginobili, Boris Diaw, Kyle Korver. Uh, Scola goes out with the ring. All right, Nate Robinson retires. 
uh, just seeing if there is uh, anybody here who retired because of injury, and it's looking like that is not the case. All right, so here is the championship roster led by Kevin Love, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Dwight Howard, Jabari Parker, Eric Bledsoe, Jacob Poltzel, Devin Booker, Eric Gordon, Damian Inglis, Tragic Bronson, Corey Jefferson, and CJ Watson and Luis Scola who did retire. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Make sure to go vote in the poll in the, in the description down below on which team I should be rebuilding next. Also, mention me on Twitter with teams that you have rebuilt. Starting next episode, if I get more than like three submissions, uh, I will start showcasing teams that you guys rebuild in the beginning of my videos. So I think that'll be a, a pretty cool twist to this series and that way uh, you guys can get exposure out there from being for being some uh, pretty good rebuilders yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, and just before the game the championship is to the players by NBA commissioner Adam Silver. And a proud moment indeed for this team and their fans.